Hey guys, welcome back for another team building guide. Today we're going to be going over the Boiling Power Super Saiyan Goku. Now, this is the new transformation Goku that's currently out. Uh, if you guys are watching this in the future, this is when the, it actually first became available. So all the team buildings will be based off of uh, information from September of 2018, uh, just in case you guys are looking at this like a year in advance. This is such a fantastic card. Uh, this one in the Frieza. Now, personally, I'm a fan of the Frieza a bit more. Uh, that is specifically because I like the villains better. Uh, there's a lot more, um, th there's a lot of d diversity between all of them. They have different attacks, they have different animations. They don't all look the same. Uh, heroes, to me, everyone's just yellow hair, firing key blasts. You know what I mean? Like, at least the villains have different designs. That's why I'm a big fan of them. Uh, but this is still such a phenomenal unit. I love the transformation mechanic. Uh, this Goku, in terms of the linking guide we're going to be doing today, is going to be a little bit more difficult to talk about. Because uh, unlike the Frieza, the Frieza ha pretty much retained the same link skills throughout all of his transformations. This guy does not. Uh, so it's going to be very difficult for me to talk about that. But we're going to go ahead and do our best here. Uh, first off, leader ability, super class, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Uh, pretty damn good. He replaces the Vegito Blue in the aspect of you do not need to have individual, uh, one of every attribute on the on your actual team so that is a good thing so um that means you could run a full agility team he could pr pretty much take the place of any 120 liter you have if you really want to for the super class now again as i said it on the freezer video i am a little bit upset that they did that to them uh that way because now none of them are really relevant if you really don't want to run them but at the same time it's not bad because they are really good units and now you if you are a free-to-play player and you're able to pull one of them you at least have a good unit to run as a leader on teams you before did not have a leader for. Uh, but yeah, so his super attack, Kamehameha, raises attack and defense, causes immense damage to the enemy. Now, I said with the Frieza before, I did give them an equal amount of um, of dupe system when it comes to additionals and crits, and that's because the raises attack and defense is unbridled. It continuously happens, and it sticks. It does not go away. If they get a double super attack, they doubly raise their attack and defense, and each of them will do that up until their final form. So until Goku gets to the Super Saiyan Blue form, he will continuously raise his attack and defense every time he launches a super attack, hence why I gave them an equal amount of attack, um, <clears throat> of additionals as crit. <clears throat> so that's a very good trait to have. Highly recommend doing that. Um, <clears throat> if you give him full crit, I wouldn't blame you. Passive skill, Super Saiyan for starters. Attack and defense plus 80%, reduces damage received by 21%, transform when conditions are met. Now again, this will also change for every single transformation, it goes up, up, and up. His attack will go up, his defense will go down until his attack's about 120, his defense is down to zero, and his damage reduction goes up to 25%, which is actually really good, 25% damage reduction. Obviously, the first couple times that he's going to be on his form of Super Saiyan 1, 2, and maybe 3 form, you're going to, you would be preferable for you to have him in the center slot. That way, um, actually, no, you can have him in the first slot because it looks, it doesn't happen after a super attack. So he'll have a, de a defensive buff of 80% and damage reduction, which means he's going to be tanking so well, so well for a while. Even when he loses a defensive buff um, as he uh, transforms, he's still going to have a damage reduction that goes up. A 25% damage reduction, while that's not like really tanky, it's still t t reducing damage by a lot. Um, link skills are all in the family. Golden Warrior, experienced fighters, Super Saiyan Kamehameha, prepared for battle and fierce battle. And that's the thing that really stinks about this unit in terms of this of this guide that I'm trying to bring to you. They change so much and by a wide margin. <laughs> uh, so I actually have to use other units to try and show you what units they can link with. Uh, the categories are Realm of God, Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyan's full power. So he's on very, very powerful teams. Um, and he is a super leader, an unbridled super leader, which is going to be very good. Max stats are HP of 10,600. Attack of 11,978, defense of 5350, uh, base dupe system is 2605 for HP, attack of 30, 13,978, and defense of 7350. If you have any dupe system, highly recommend giving it to him. Uh, 15,000 HP, set almost 17,000 attack, and defense is almost 11,000. 12 key multiplier, 150%. Raise attack and defense is a 20% boost. Super attack does not reset with any Goku transformations, um, so that's awesome. Uh, Goku's leader ability and categories make him viable option leader for all car categories he is a part of, which is very, very true. Um, actually, I think I forgot to mention that on the Frieza one. Uh, so essentially, if you're lacking any leaders on any of these, just think about this. Realm of Gods team, mostly heroes. Super Saiyan 3 team, pretty much everyone except for like Broly is a hero. Pure Saiyans, mostly all heroes. And full power is mostly, well, you can definitely have a, you have a very strong argument for a lot of heroes. So he can literally run as a viable leader to any of them categories for you, which is just a freaking phenomenal. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that that's awesome. I love that so much. 
Now, the thing that I want to, to talk about that really quick was his uh, his changing link skills. Between his Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2 forms, he really doesn't have that much of a difference. Uh, but as soon as you go to Super Saiyan 3, his link skills change, limit breaking form, uh, super, uh, sorry, over in a flash. So he gets those two. Then he goes to the God form, and now he has Godly Power Warrior Gods. Uh, he keeps over in a flash, which is cool. Uh, I believe Shocking Speed is something new. Uh, yes, it is something new from Super Saiyan 2. And then you go to his blue form, which is Godly Power Warrior God Shocking Speed. So pretty much everything is the same between his two God forms. So his last two God forms didn't really change too much. Uh, very awesome card. I do love the artwork here as well. So that just makes the card even that much more cool. And again, for in terms of linking guys, it's, it's going to be such a pain in the butt. Uh, I do like, I've never actually gotten him to be a Super Saiyan Blue form yet. So I can't wait till I actually do that. Oh yeah, spoilers, because I haven't done my, my summoning videos yet. Whoops. Um... But, uh, alright, cool, so in terms of best linking buddies in game, as a super leader, this is definitely gonna come in a very, very, a very viable for you. Best linking buddy in game is the LR Gogeta, so that's Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan Experience, Fighters, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, that's obviously on his first form, he's gonna have others as he transforms, but just on first form alone, that's his best linking buddy, uh, the LR Vegito is also very good, very good for him, and that's honestly just because of experienced fighters. Um, the Gogeta over here, the Intelligence Gogeta is gonna be really good for him. The, uh, oh yeah, actually that's the LR Vegito, we already talked about him. Um, the TUR version of LR Gohan is gonna be good for him, Future Gohan is gonna be good for him, and the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, you know, let me switch over to the Dokkan Battle Build review. That way it's a little bit closer for you guys. There we go. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. Uh, definitely this guy's going to be your, one of your best bets. Plus, he's a super leader, so you could you could definitely run them together if you really wanted to, because this is going to be a very viable uh, option to run on a team. Either one of those two. If you have both of them, just link them together. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, in terms of the next one, this is going to be for the uh, Mono Agility team. Uh, actually, I don't think... Uh, no, this is Realm of God's team. So on a Realm of God's team... Uh, he, the, the base form links with a lot of these different units, the, all the, pretty much any Goku over here, any Super Saiyan Blue Goku he's gonna link very well with. Um, the Super Saiyan God that he links the best with is going to be the, um, uh, the, the one with the four link skills, the physical one. Uh, he does share four link skills with him. Now, mind you, while he is Super Saiyan God, he will not link with other Super Saiyan God, so I can't do that. Uh, but you can go over there and you can take a look at the, uh, Super Saiyan, um, Blue. So let's see this over here. So this, the Kaioken Goku typically has the most link skills. So just for um, shits and giggles, he does have six link skills with him over here. So that doesn't mean he's going to have some good links uh, he, with, I think it was the Agility. Yeah, the Agility one shared the most in common that I could find anyway. So um, definitely the Kaioken Blue Goku is going to be a very good linking uh, option for him while he's in Super Saiyan God form on the Realm of Gods team. Um, when he goes to Super Saiyan Blue, uh, it pretty much is going to be difficult to say because it's really the it, the best as I could see is the agility one, and it'll be the Tech Vegito on there with him. Uh, Super Saiyan Kamehameha Warrior Gods Over in a Flash and Fierce Battle. They he does have all actually. Uh, does he have Super Saiyan? Yeah, he does have Super Saiyan. So that is going to be probably your best bet while this one goes blue or not. Not blue. actually, yeah, I think blue would work very well as well because the the God form and the Blue forms have the same link skills. So Vegito Blue, when he's in Realm of Gods, when he is a god tier, is going to link the best with him. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, 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 it's pretty self-explanatory here. Uh, Vegito Blue and the Kaioken Blue Goku. Now, I'm not a big fan of the Kaioken Blue Goku. I, I, I do like the card, don't get me wrong. I just, I have my agility Super Saiyan Blue Goku maxed out. He's 100%. Um, he does 100% on his passive skill, and he is rainbowed, so he does, he out-damages the Kaioken Blue Goku, and Kaioken Blue Goku uh, does do self-damage, so I really don't like running that because of that fact. Uh, overall, pretty good. He will also, the, when he goes to the God forms, he'll also obviously link with the with the Ultra Instant Goku very well. And any of the other Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, um, I think the Vegitos are, are decent options as well. As you see over here, he links with both of them. The God form that I found that has the best amount of link skills that they share. And his base form, uh, well, that's base form, his Super Saiyan form. Each share four link skills with him, so the Vegitos are good options as well. Uh, moving over here, this is going to be for the Super Saiyan 3 team. Now, the LR... Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is the one that I found that has the most. And that's only because he has experienced fighters on his um, passive as well, on his link skills as well. So that does make it a little bit more viable. Um, so between them, I'm going to say the Bardock is going to be the best bet because between the two of them, he links with four link skills for with each of them. Uh, that is because of the experienced fighters. He has Super Saiyan experienced fighters over in a flash limit breaking form. Um, I think it's also what he does. He has Super Saiyan. Yeah, he has Super Saiyan. Um, prepared for battle. Does he prepared for battle when he is in a Super Saiyan 3 form? I forgot. No, he doesn't have prepared for battle because he is over in a flash only. So he's going to have the over in a flash with the Super Saiyan 3 Barok. But I think the Super Saiyan 3 Barok, when he's in that form, is going to be his best link buddy. 
Uh, other options are going to be the Super Saiyan 3 Goku over here. They're going to definitely share some link skills plus to that passive. Remember, he has that Super Saiyan, uh, uh, how he works with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, definitely a very viable option to link alongside of him. You also have this Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT, which will link with both of them because of the four link skills that they share. Uh, attack and defense, I think it was a plus 90%. Yeah, attack and defense plus 90%. So that is a very viable option. Let me scroll down a little bit. Um, and then you have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel, the free-to-play one. A high chance attack was 180%. No, I wouldn't really recommend that. And for those of you on JP, it looks like the adult Gotenks or the team Gotenks is going to be a good option as well. Uh, what I would definitely do if you have the Barok, definitely run him on that team. Obviously, it's going to be Super Saiyan 3 oriented anyway. So he does link very well for link skills throughout the time. So it's not it's definitely not a bad option while he's getting his transformations in um, outside of that the next one i would probably run is to be this goku and then this this goku so that's the order i would run bardock strength super saiyan 3 goku uh and then agility super saiyan 3 goku moving on this is for the full power team now this one is definitely gonna be a lot more a lot more difficult to to talk about because of all the different units that or transformations that he has now, if you look over here, he his best linking buddy is the Super Saiyan 2 Gohans, uh, the TUR variant of the LR Gohan. The LR Gohan is, is still here as well. I did four or more. So you have LR Gohan, the TUR variant of that, the the TUR Strength Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, um, and then it, pretty much the, this Super Saiyan 2, the, the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in the World Tournament one is a good option. Buff Trunks. Uh, the Kaioken Goku, this is the one that just came out, is a very awesome unit. I can't wait to do a team building guide on that because I I saw a post, I posted it up on the Facebook group from Speedy. Uh, just a little bit of spoilers on this one. This guy in a perfect situation with a nuker team that is a double Vegeta blue physical lead, when he gets all of them on the board after he's done a couple of super attacks, can literally hit for max damage in-game, devil man status, max damage in-game. Obviously, you need to set it up for him, you need to let him do a, a few attacks. You literally have to have an entire board filled with physical orbs, but when you do that, he will hit for max damage in-game. Insane, I can't wait to talk about him. Um, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, as we talked about, so all the Super Saiyan 2 Gohans are perfect for him on a full power team. Uh, the Kaioken Goku over here, the buff trunks, and the Kaioken Blue Goku, which we also talked about. Again, this is going to change based off of um, what unit that you're running with him, so I mean, if you if you do the Super Saiyan three variant uh, over here, well let's let's actually switch over to the God because so his God form on this team for what he links best with, it looks like the only thing that's going to change is going to be the uh, the other Kaioken Goku. It's the Super Saiyan, the Super Kaioken Goku, which is actually pretty awesome. And then when you take that away, let's go over to the LR stats, and we'll throw the Super Saiyan three Goku over here. It looks like for four more is also going to be the Kaioken Goku. So really, you don't have too much crazy going on with that um the the what he was linking for bef with before is probably going to be your best bet um to run on that team so let's go back over and change it up let's go back to uh agility super saiyan goku um these are going to be his best bets honestly lr gohan on the team obviously if you have him you're going to want to run him uh outside of that the new kaioken goku is a good option this gohan is more of a support unit for agility so you're not going to run him uh and the kaioken goku looks like in terms of best links if you're looking to prioritize it around this goku that's going to be your best bet uh, moving on to the last one. This is the Pure Saiyans team. Now, this one's going to be very difficult. We pretty much covered everything, and everyone who I talked about uh, before is on this list because, you know, Saiyans. Uh, well, Pure Saiyans, as long as they're not hybrid Saiyans. So, uh, so uh, just to try and keep it um, from going, you know, in one direction, talk about everything, we're going we're gonna to take all the Super Saiyan Blues that we had talked about already, the Kaioken Blue Goku, that Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the Super Saiyan 3 Gokus, uh, that we had talked about. Uh, who else is up over here that we don't really need to worry about? Uh, the Bardock, uh, the physical Goku that we talked about over here. Uh, I was just trying to want to keep it uh, as, as clean as possible for us. So Super Saiyan 4 Goku up over here is going to be good for him. Four Link skills. Super Saiyan Kamehameha prepared for battle. Super Fierce Battle. Um, honestly, uh, I'm, I'm trying to... I just want to keep it as like a decent... A decent uh, amount of units that you would want to run on the team. I would say that the this is the TUR of the Super Saiyan 3 Goku that you would actually consider running on that team. Um, Bardock is a good support unit, so I would consider him over here for was it Golden Warrior Super Saiyan prepared for battle fierce battle. This Goku Super Saiyan 2 Goku has five link skills with him. Golden Warrior Super Saiyan Kamehameha prepared for battle super fierce battle. Uh, but he is attack plus five, attack plus twelve. Uh, yeah, key plus five, attack plus twelve thousand when attacking third in turn, so I'm not really that viable in terms of running him on a team. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Kaioken Blue Goku is another option for you. Uh, this Barok is in bed, he seals. Uh, this Go, uh, let's see, this Goku over here, I know he got a Doken Awakening, what does he do again? 
key plus three when the death blow trigger by attack when attack plus one up defense. Uh, so one with when there's one enemy, he's pretty good. <laughs> um, this is the spirit bomb Goku from the Horror or Tur Tur the Turles event. Um, he is a nuker, so I'm not a big fan of him. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's really not that many other great units here. Uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku is really just all support units. Maybe this GT one's decent. Uh, attack plus 70%. Nah, he ain't that great. Uh, this Super Saiyan Goku GT. Yeah, no, he's bad too. So honestly, uh, I would probably say that the ones up on top, these guys are good. Uh, the Bardock's also good because he seals. Uh, this one is not good. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to split it up like this. Pretty much the from the Bardock, Goku, and Goku up over here, these guys are probably going to be your most viable. I would probably have to say Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the Kaioken Goku, uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku are going to be all of his best linking buddies in-game um, in terms of when he gets to that form. Also remember this because him and the Super Saiyan 3 LR Goku do link very well when they're on the same team. They are going to link very well as well. Um, I kind of want to switch this over and do what I was doing before. Let's switch it into the uh, the actual TUR version of that Godku card. Uh, let's see what it links. He links well with here. For, so for four or more, uh, Kaioken Blue Goku is going to be a good choice. The Super Kaioken Goku is a good choice. Um, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku is a good choice. UI Goku, obviously a good choice. He still links very well with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, so pretty much all the ones I had talked about before are very good links, uh, linking buddies for him. Uh, and the Super Saiyan 3 Goku over here, which is also going to be relevant, because when he goes Super Saiyan 3, he's going to link with him. Now let's go back over to the Super Saiyan 3 LR variant real quick, and see who else links with him on here. Uh, so Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, Majin, Vegeta. Obviously, that's only going to be one turn, but he does have some link skills there. So I would honestly say probably the Super Saiyan Kaioken, the Super Kaioken Goku. Uh, is going to be a really good option for you. Uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is going to be a good option for you uh, to run on a pure Saiyans team. Uh, those two are probably... I would probably do the Super Saiyan 3 just because he's a good support unit, and he will help your uh, your primary Goku, the new the transformation Goku, hit the best. Uh, again, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, is there anything that I missed when it comes to that? Uh, that's just really awesome. I really like the team. Obviously, you could run multiple Gokus now on one team. If you want to have a full Goku team, you obviously have the chance to. I just didn't want to actually talk about it. There's way too many damn Gokus in the game. But you can now run a full Goku uh, hero team um, in Dokkan Battle if you really want to. But anyway, guys, that is it. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.